Brian, a very Merry Christmas to you, and this is card number 29. Woo um, anyway, I'm going to surprise this person with this one. I think she thinks I'm going to do a different card for her, but I didn't want to tell her that I actually made this one for her because I know how she is with uh, things. So I had to play a little trickery. Uh, but this is for a friend of mine, and this is Compliments of the Season. And it is an ESO card. It is also made from the same paper collection um, that is in the previous um, card. I'm trying to get it to focus here. There it is. Um, and it is, uh, I used one of the 6x6 um, six six and cut it down and cut their little legs out. And then I used part of the frame off of another <clears throat> and then layered it on top of another layer and another layer. And then I used a little glossy accents to make the glass kind of sparkle and you can kind of see the reflection like if you were in a real department store or outside of one. And then I used one of the paper tags from the collection that says compliments of the season. And I used like the 25th so that it tells when the store is shopping date and to remind everybody Christmas was coming. And she just loves the whole vintage thing. She's a photographer like I am. so. I hope she enjoys this. Um, I was a professional photographer for years. She was a freelance photographer. Um, and she uh, will love this. And I'm sure by the time I post this, she'll figure out that this is her card. Um, especially by what I'm saying. So I had to play a little trickery. But I put a little tag at the bottom. It's the same type of paper I used on the back of the last one. Um, and I'll be putting my, and you can see that I vintage photo uh, inked the edges. But I'll be putting my personal message in here. And of course, I will put my um, information on the back. But this is a 4x4 of ESOL um, from Graphic 45. And I do hope that you guys enjoy the pictures. Merry Christmas, everyone, and a very happy New Year.